Hey, what's up my friend? This is Dan and welcome to the five pillars of success video number two. Now in the first video we talked about getting a mentor and if you haven't seen that video, I suggest checking that out. The fact of the matter is these five pillars are actually meant to be put together and used together in a systematic and strategic way and they kind of go into each other. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to know the importance of why you need to have a mentor and also you want to get a mentor, at least one mentor before moving on to the next step. Okay. Now individually, these pillars can be used and have a lot of power all on their own. However, when used together, that's when the real synergy happens and it can take your business and your success to the next level. So with that said, thanks for being here. Appreciate you as always. And let's get into the second pillar of success video, which is get out of the employee mindset. Okay, and this is one that most of us to some degree are accustomed to being in. As a matter of fact, to this day, after having been in my own business for a number of years now, I still kind of find myself in the employee mindset from time to time and I catch myself and I pull myself out of it because that's not conducive to my success. And the reason why that is is because I've simply been conditioned in my life to work for someone else. Okay, so when you're in business for yourself and you want to be successful, you actually can't have that mentality. You have to have the mentality of a business owner as opposed to an employee. Okay, and with that said, there's a couple of things I can give you, a couple of tips I can help you with in order to kind of switch your mindset around and change from that of an employee to that of someone who owns their own business, maybe even before you own your own business. Now, one thing that employees are used to that business owners know don't exist in their world is guarantees, the concept of a guarantee or what I like to call the illusion of a guarantee. Um, for example, in, in employment, you know, there's guarantees in your job. Okay, there's generally a guarantee that you're going to get paid on the date, whenever it is you're going to get paid, whether you get paid every Friday, bi-weekly, whatever it may be. Uh, there's a guarantee that your paycheck's going to be a certain amount or, or roughly a certain amount based on um, your, your income, whatever it is that you do. Of course, unless you're a commissioned salesperson, um, then it can really vary. Um, there's, there's guarantees that if you do the things that are required in your job description that you'll get to keep your job or possibly move up if you do them well within your organization based on whatever the criteria is. Okay, Business owners, on the other hand, don't have those guarantees. In the end, the business owner 100% is responsible for the success and the failure of the entire business. And really, they know that nothing is guaranteed. And if they don't know that, then being in business, they will learn that very, very quickly. And even in the world of employment, some of those things like having a steady paycheck or knowing what your paycheck's going to be or even knowing if your job's going to be there, like I said, I like to think that they're – I like to call it the illusion of a guarantee because you don't even know if those things are actually going to really be true. I mean how many times have people done their job description beyond uh, – above and beyond what they're required to do and still not had a job? later on right so the fact of the matter is is that you know you really don't know and in life there really are no guarantees at all so the business owner understands that and if you want to be successful then you need to understand that whatever you're going to do is not guaranteed and sometimes things don't always work out the way as planned so another thing uh, that a business owner has mentality wise as opposed to an employee is the the power to take action without having something be dictated to them or being told that they need to do something this is a big one okay uh, and so many people who come into the world of owning their own business starting their own business especially in the online space they they come in and they're waiting for someone else to tell them what to do and that's simply because they've been conditioned for so long to learn from someone else generally their boss or be or be told what it is that they need to do next. You know, there's an old adage in the job world that says that most people work just hard enough to keep their job, right, and do just enough to not get fired, in other words, and they get paid just enough not to quit. And maybe you can look at your own life. I know that was true for me when I was working in the employment world as opposed to being my own business owner. So that's an important concept to understand is the fact that People who are business owners 
and go out there and create their own success, they are responsible for figuring out what it is that they need to do in their business. And if they wake up one day and the, you know, the plan isn't there for them for whatever reason, maybe they were relying on somebody else, um, or maybe, you know, things just didn't work out the way that they normally do that day. Well, sh the, the, the show must go on anyway, and the shop still needs to open and things need to be done. So those people who are business owners realize that regardless of who or what or, or where the information is coming from, the job needs to get done and they need to get out there and figure out how to get the doors open and get their business prosperous every single day, regardless of what the circumstances are, regardless of who told them what to do or what not to do, or uh, you know whatever external circumstances may be affecting their business on that particular day. So the employee has the luxury of saying, okay, I didn't get my task list today, so I'm not gonna do my tasks, right? And really, that's not necessarily the employee's fault. Now, a good employee would take some of these concepts and apply them to whatever job that they're doing and go either find or create a task list, but that's a conversation for another day. So if you want to think like a successful person, you want to think like a business owner as opposed to an employee in every single thing that you do. What you need is you need people around you who are going to give you the mentality, who are going to give you the mindset, who are going to give you the training and help you along with building your business while you are actually learning to switch your mindset over from that of an employee to that of a business owner. So one thing you can do to start a business is you can head over to mysuccesssystem.info, learn about a business that I use to create my own income online, full-time income, working part-time from home. And we actually teach some of the concepts in order to change your mindset from that of an employee to a business owner. So you can actually learn this stuff as you earn in this business. So go ahead and head over to mysuccesssystem.info. Check out that opportunity. Check out the business that I am involved in and see if it's something that's right for you. If you don't have a business or if you do have a business and you're just looking for more business insight and another stream of income, then it might be a great way for you to get started and get better, get in the direction of building your business or building your success even further online. So with that said, I appreciate you as always. This is your boy, Dan DiBiase, signing off in the second video and the five pillars of success. Be on the lookout in your email for the next couple of days for the third video, and I will be glad to see you next time. Appreciate you as always. Love you, and thanks for hanging out. Peace.